what's up? Okay, so in this video, I'm just kind of ranting a little bit about my anti-humect situation. Okay, I'll link my pop shea butter mix down below my anti-humect, which means that it will discourage your hair from puffing in humid climates, okay, because it contains no humectants, anti-humect. Um, honestly, I really am angry because I mixed an anti-humect situation with a humect, so I like went double time, but I was too heavy on the humectant portion. I mean, I have this whole thing about, yes, a little bit of humectant is good if your hair is dry, but forget that. I'm just going to go with my DCs and my retwists with water, because if I'm redoing my hair every night, it's going to get wet, and I really don't need to worry about keeping a heavy humectant in my hair to attract water and you know so it can get softer because honestly that situation is a result of laziness or a lack of time which is usually my issue a lack of time I don't have time to DC all the time and I don't have time to retwist my hair at night because I just have so much stuff to do so really if I'm retwisting my hair every night and doing an adequate quenching deep condition every single week you know and alternating on my moisture and protein there's no you know, sporadically, not every week. You know, there's a specific way to alternate on your protein, and I'll discuss that in a separate video. But honestly, I'm like, why did I mix a humect butter? I mixed a humect butter with an anti humect pomade. You know, Marais pomade is anti humectant because it contains no glycerin or castor oil or any sort of humectant whatsoever, just petroleum jelly and mineral oil, I believe, and whatever else is in there. But it's like three ingredients. I have it. I can't bother to go get it. It's like it created a box. It was a really ugly hairstyle. It's like no matter what I did, my hair was in this box formation because I guess how I set it in, I put it in like five sections and I covered it up with my satin cap. And the satin cap really smushes down whatever you have. So it really helps solidify a smushed down shape. And you know, my afro wants to puff up. So here you have my hair braided in four sections basically. I have five, so one in the middle. And then I have it smushed down with my satin scarf all night. So when I wake up, the hair wants to puff up here because it's super kinky, forcey hair. And it's like, boom, I just puffage and stick flat. And I had the pomade in it. So it was like this afro that looked like this, but it had like a box on it. And I had to just obsessively all day for like two days now, okay? Just pull, pull, pull in at the top. And I was so, so angry. I'm just so angry. I'm just so angry. I'm really, really, really angry. And I will never mix my humect and anti humect Either I'm going to go with an all anti humect pot butter mix with my pomade or no pomade. Or I'm just going to go with the humect and get a beautiful, lovely, poofy afro like I usually have. Because I'm always using humectants because I always never have enough time to retwist my hair at night. I mean, I'm in public, y'all. I'm just not. Happy. I'm not happy with that that kid and play. But it, you know, it was fly on kid and play. But on me, it just I'm not kid and play. I don't have you know my hair shaved off on the sides. This is a big old circular afro, okay? And you don't want a big old moon afro with a box in the middle. You know, kid and play was fly. He didn't have a moon. He had just a you know, a straight up and down sand castle and a box. That's cute. That's fly for a guy. But for me, even a girl who wants to be edgy, you know, I've seen a little bit of that, but shorter. But a girl who just wants a moon fro does not want a box in the middle of her moon fro. So yeah, <laughs> it was terrible, but I got through it. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Later.